welcome back to our channel and welcome back to the sheet metal course this is how we left the part in the previous video we've got this rectangular base flange in this video we are going to have a look at some of the properties of our sheet metal part and how we can adjust this we are going to go over a little bit of theory we don't want to go too detailed into that at the moment but a little bit of introduction now will be helpful later on in the course there's quite a bit to go over here and some of it will make much more sense once we actually start to add the features later on so don't worry too much if we don't fully understand everything at this stage to edit the sheet metal properties of our part click on the sheet metal folder which should be the first feature in the design tree and then press edit feature and we'll get these options on the left as we previously mentioned sheet metal parts are generally made from a single sheet that's all the same thickness so here we can set that one of the most important properties of the sheet metal part, which is the thickness. So for example, if I change the thickness here to 2 mm and then press OK. Now we can see that the base flange is 2 mm thick and we can actually measure that using the measure tool. You can see 2 mm over there. These thickness settings are global throughout our entire part. So if I now add an edge flange, you don't need to do this on your own model, it's just for demonstration. We can now see that this edge flange is also 2mm thick. Let's edit the shield metal folder again. So click on it and press edit feature, and we'll have a look at some other options. So as we mentioned, the thickness is one of the most important options, but another very important one is the bend radius. This is the size of the curve that will be made inside of any of the bands that we add. So if I make the bend radius here 1.5 mm and then press OK, we can now see that the radius on the inside of this bend is 1.5 mm. Hopefully you can see that whenever we bend a flat sheet, we are always going to have a slight radius there, so a slightly curved bend in the corner there. We are never going to have a completely perpendicular or completely square corner. And this radius will depend on the thickness of material and the type of material. But how do we know what this radius should be? Let's edit that sheet metal folder again. So click on the feature and press edit feature, and we'll have a look at some different options. The first option for the bend radius, and probably the best one, is just to speak to your manufacturer. Say to them something like, I'm making a part in 1mm thick steel, what bend radius do you recommend? And they should be able to give you that information. You can also search online for this. If you search something like 1mm thick steel bend radius, then that should give you a good idea of the number. Finally, you can also use the gauge tables in SOLIDWORKS. The gauge tables have got a load of preset metal thicknesses and bending details that go along with them. To use the gauge tables, just click this box at the top that says Use Gauge Tables. And then from the options, let's just try something like a sample table for steel. To use these gauge tables, you do have to have Microsoft Excel installed on your computer because SOLIDWORKS grabs that information from an Excel file. So if your SOLIDWORKS hangs up at this point and doesn't open these gauge tables, then just try installing Microsoft Excel. But assuming that your tables work correctly, now let's have a look at this steel airbending table. Airbending just refers to the type of bands that we are making. So now down here, we've got a load of different gauge options, and you can see each one has a different number. The gauge number is a way of measuring the thickness of sheets metal, and it's used particularly in America. If we look at a gauge measuring tool, like this, we can see that the number corresponds to the thickness of the metal sheet, and a higher number means a thinner sheet. So for example, 3 gauge here, we can see it's about 6 mm. If we choose 18 gauge down here, it's only 1.2 mm thick. But we can see, as we change the gauge up here, we should also see that the bend's radius changes automatically. So this can give you a good idea of the correct sort of radius. We can see as the metal gets thicker, the bend radius also increases. And that's because it's much harder to make a really tight bend on a thick sheet. As you can imagine, you've got a really thin sheet of aluminum foil. You can bend it really tightly, it looks almost square. If you've got a really thick plate of steel, then you're going to need a much bigger bend radius. Now the problem with using the gauge is that the number can mean a different actual thickness depending on which material you're using. If you look at these examples, you can see 16 gauge actually isn't the same thickness for different types of metal. And that's because it's based on the weight of the sheet. 
so this can potentially cause confusion. And it's not really recommended to use the gauge number by international standards organizations. It's much better to actually specify the thickness in millimeters or inches. So for our example, let's turn off the gauge table and go for something 1 millimeter thick and 1 millimeter pen radius. And then we can save our part. So to quickly recap what we covered in this video, the thickness and the pen radius can both be set by editing the sheet metal folder here in the design tree. And these settings are global, so they apply to your whole sheet metal part. The thickness and the material can be set either by specifying it with a weight or by using the gauge table. And as we just mentioned, I would highly recommend using the actual thickness. Because as we just saw, the gauge can actually be different thickness with different materials. You'll also always need to set a pen radius. You can find this out from your manufacturer, or you can search online, or you can use the preset values from the gauge tables. In the next video, we'll have a look over the pen allowance and the auto relief. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you like. Hope it can be a little helpful and useful.